Hello viewers, welcome to QTP functional testing videos. Myself Uday. In this video, I would like to demonstrate about how to test tool tips using QTP. So in this video, I will be demonstrating about testing tool tips for a link, how to test tool tip for an object. Alright. So tool um, tool tip is something like you know, for example, as you can see in this Page, I have a link and image. So, tool to be something when I mouse over on that link, whatever is the information that is displayed here is the tool tip. Alright, so if I mouse over on an image, some information is displayed here, right? So, this is what is called tool tip. Alright, so how to test those tool tips? Um, in some of like you know, in while doing some functional testing, there might be some test cases where you need to validate those tool tips. All right. So, in order to get these tool tips, it's all depends on how the developer has developed in that application. So, what I mean is, as you can see, the source code of this web page is this. So, when you say, like, you know, for a link object, generally the, uh, the tooltip is nothing but the title property. Alright, as you can see, the link is Uday and the title name is Udaya Kumar. Right, so that is the, the whatever the value which I give here will be coming as the tooltip for a link. Alright, so for a link object, the tooltip is the title property. Whatever value I give here, that will be displayed as a tooltip. For example, in your application, uh, in your application, if the developer has developed in this way, then the tooltip will be see as you can see. Once you just mouse over on that link, the tooltip information is displayed. So if the developer developed in this way. How can we get the tooltip, right? So in QTP, in order to get that, what we will do is here, as you can see, the first statement what I'm doing here is this is my link object, and I am using object dot title property. So this is like you know retrieving the property based on the HTML DOM. So we will uh, discuss more about how to use DOM and all in the next, uh, next videos. But as of now, you just see uh, the link object dot object dot title property will give you the tooltip of that link. Alright, if the developer has the title property set like this. Alright, so I'm just executing it. Uh, let's see what is getting displayed here. Yeah, as you can see, the title property is displayed, right? So that is one way, and there is an another way. Like the developer, what the what they will do is they will display the tooltip only when the user mouse over on that. So, like you know, when the user mouse over on that link, that tooltip will be displayed. So okay what i will do is for example say if i delete this tool tip uh, uh, let me do this so what i want to do here is i just want to delete that title property and see is if there is something is displayed here as i have deleted this uh, title property you will see if I mouse over here nothing will be displayed right but there is an another way if the developer wants to display the tool tip only on mouse over if the like you know if this is how they have developed then we have an another way of retrieving the tooltip 
that we will see all right so as you can see from the source code what i am doing is uh, i am invoking a method function which internally will set the same thing right so now if i refresh it if i mouse over here again this because on mouse over what i did was i am setting the title as Udaya Kumar right so that is the reason when i mouse over it again it will display the tooltip so in those scenarios how can we retrieve that for that what you have to do here is you need to uh, you need to fire an event right for that what we will do here is i'm writing a small code uh, like i'm just setting the replay type like equal to two uh, replay types we will be covering in the next videos but just like you know remember this syntax a setting dot web package of replay type equal to some people if they didn't put this statement they will get some errors because of that you just set this as uh, replay type as two and after that what i am doing here is this is the link object i am just firing an event on mouse over i am just waiting for two seconds after that what i am doing is link object dot object dot title that's what i am printing here all right so let's see what is getting printed here now as you can see i'm just saving the this i'm just refreshing here and i'm executing my script all right let's see yeah as you can see the tooltip is printed here all right so in the same way like how whatever the way that we are using fire event there is an another alternative way is called like the internal method of it is directly like you know mouse over has uh, like this is the internal method of that link object all right so if you use this syntax also you would be able to get the tooltip all right so let me execute it and now as you can see the tooltip is printed right and there is another way also like you know the uh, once again so what i want to do here is i'm just like rather than getting the object dot title property i have an another way of retrieving this tooltip using uh native tooltips class all right as you can see what I am doing here is window of native class of tooltip uh, tooltips underscore class 32 dot get our property of text all right what it will do is it will return it retrieve the tooltip of that link I'm just printing it here all right let me execute it and show you what is getting displayed here yeah, as you can see the tooltip is printed people who didn't set this setting may get some error called the window object like the uh, parent window object is not like you know not take this something like that so if you set this setting then definitely it should work right that is how we will get the tooltip for an link all right so now we will see like how to get the tooltip uh, for an image right for image by default uh, like you know uh, we should be having a property called alt property which will retrieve you the tooltip so as you can see which doesn't have the images doesn't have the title property but they will have the alt property all right so uh, because they have this all property by directly using like you know uh, we are as you can see here this is a, like you know this is the image object i'm just uh, using get our property of alt right if you use it like this 
then you will get the tooltip that is displayed on an image right that is what the tooltip is for an image right so sometimes in some forums and everywhere people will say while referring to the link they will try with all property no that will not work the links will not have all properties whereas then image will have the all properties right so that is how we will test tooltips using qtp all right that's all in this video thanks for watching please leave your comments about this video thanks